Helen Fortin, very nice to meet you, yeah. finally. Yeah. And um, so thank you for the opportunity to, opportunity to interview you. And uh, I love your art. Thank you. Um, I know I say that to all the artists, but all the artists that I meet, I, I really do. I really do like their yeah. art. You know, yeah. they, everybody's doing like amazing work. I think so. So can you tell me a little bit about um, when you actually knew that you were you wanted to get into into doing art? Well, it's really quite strange because most of my life I've worked in, um, I've, I've worked with artists, mm -hmm. uh, musicians mostly, and I was always the person that did the promotion. Even when I was younger, my, okay. uh, my first boyfriend was a guitarist and I'm the one who did all the managing and promotion. And actually, when I was supposed to do my solo, because they wanted me to join the band, I ended up breaking up with them and I never got to do my solo. Okay. So I've always been the person who does promotion and managing. And then um, I was asked to take over the Fraser, Fraser Hickson Library. Yes. And we launched a new project called Mini Biblio Plus, which is for uh, early childhood education. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I'm on the honorary board now because I retired a couple of years mm -hmm. ago. But uh, the executive director at the time, she said, Helen, why don't we just go take a drawing course? So went to the Visual Arts Center. Um, I never thought I could draw. You know, I just, I, it just didn't dawn on me. Yeah, because you were a, into music and then all of a sudden you're... Yeah, but also as a promoter and a manager, people yeah. with that type of personality, more often than not, their gift is... Mm to make people popular. <laughs> That's what That's we right, do, yeah, right? Wanna, so yeah. I just never thought that about myself. I enjoyed it. And then we took the painting uh, 101 or whatever it was. And my art teacher at the time told me, I think her name was Elizabeth. She told me, she said, you really should explore this, Helen. You have a gift. Mm -hmm. uh, I did a lot of art. I took courses there for mm -hmm. about 10 or 12 years. And I happened onto this wonderful uh, professor, Guylaine, uh, Cheveri Lessard, I think that's her name. And I'm going to be studying with her again, like I study with her independently. Okay. And she was abstract. And I mm -hmm. thought, well, I'm going to try abstract because mm -hmm. Victoria Leblanc, who was the executive director of Visual Arts Center at the right. time, she told me, she says, you know, I think you're abstract. Mm -hmm. And I, it, it's totally different, totally different from landscape. Yeah, I, I like this painting here. I'm not sure if the camera sees it, but yeah. I, I really like it. Yeah, it's called Fallen City. Yeah, it's, it definitely looks like obviously a city. city yeah, and like I'm very environmentally co uh, conscious as well. So mm -hmm. that day, I can't remember, something terrible had happened. Mm -hmm. And I just started painting and that's what came out. And this is what I love about abstract. You want to show it? <laughs> I'm going to show it. Okay, sure. So that one's called? Fallen City. Fallen City is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, and uh, it gives me a lot of, um, all of my paintings, what I like about art, what I like about painting mm -hmm. is that I, I, I need it. I never knew that I needed something like that. And now I feel I have to paint. I hadn't painted for about a month and I, mm -hmm. I did this well, one yeah. yesterday or the day before. Okay, yeah, it's very nice. Oh my God. And it, I just felt so relaxed after yeah. it. I felt happiness. Yes. And I find that's that's what I find. I know it sounds very cliche, but I think that's what comes out in my work. That when people see it, they feel comfortable. There's something edgy, but there's something happy about everything I do. Yeah. And there's also um, yeah, it shows. A, an element of landscape, even though I do abstract. Mm -hmm. I know it's very expressionist. But I think in most of my abstract, like you see here, these, this is all abstract. Yeah, but, but I could see the landscape too. There's landscape. Or, the, or the, the, the natural part, the nature yeah. part of it, yeah. And you see that comes from having grown up in the Eastern townships, which mm -hmm. to me is God's country, and I hope to move back there someday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, I mean, the peaceful, yeah, roll yeah, peaceful like rolling hills, and then you've got like, um, I also do a lot of uh, cliffs and mountains, mm -hmm. and that's because you see of some rock formations. Yeah, there. yeah, and that's because of Mount Orford. I spent a lot of time at Orford. We used to climb up every Thanksgiving mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. was, I'd go back from Montreal just to do it. it was fun. And this is further east. 
This is Gaspé. Yeah. Yeah, that's Per Se Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. I'm just going to grab it and show sure, it because sure. I think it's worth a look. It's um, uh, this one here. Yeah. This is just, again, I've, I love this. I love white. Mm -hmm. And I love cliffs. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just started painting and this is what came out. And that's how I got into art. It's basically because, actually, because of the visual art um Profession, uh, professors there. Yeah, and so you I had good teachers. I had good teachers, and to the point that I actually was recruited to their board a couple of years ago. So now oh, I'm on the board. That's pretty excellent. And yeah. they're doing great stuff still. And I feel that I mean, at one point I thought, why don't I just go back and do a BA, at, you know, at Concordia mm -hmm. in Fine mm -hmm. Arts? Mm -hmm. And one of my teachers said, you know what? you've got the best teachers here mm -hmm. and she was right because mm -hmm. i mean i did i took courses for 10 years so and they were so dedicated every professor i had you know yeah. so we're lucky because we live here right we're mm -hmm. lucky to be like montreal montreal is a, i love it yes yeah. it, you do the energy is so good who would want to live the arts yeah yeah like once you've lived here it's really hard to want to live anywhere yeah. else, you know. For me, it's 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 still sort of weird because it's just so different being a promoter as opposed to being an artist, mm -hmm. the act of doing the actual art, mm -hmm. and and it's actually, and I'm sure other artists feel the same way as I do. I mean, I spent my whole life promoting projects yeah. and musicians, but when it comes to promoting yourself, yeah, it's a different different oh. story, sure. It's yeah. it certainly is. Yeah. It's it's difficult. I, I agree you with know? you on that. Yeah, that's it. And what I really like about art as well is, oh nice, it's good, eh? It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's I think it's called otima or something like that. Mm. Not everything has to be perfect. When I first started out, oh. I I did some blueberries and. I would stay up till three in the morning making sure I got my stroke right, mm. and then it took me a couple of years to realize, it's not so much about your stroke. It's, it's about a combination mm -hmm. of... It's the feeling that it projects, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I find with abstract, too, I just go to my canvas, mm -hmm. and half the time I have no idea what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And then a composition emerges, as opposed to when, when I was doing landscape, I would do the composition first, mm -hmm. and, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's what I really enjoy about abstract. I never know what's going to come out, and... Uh, and the other thing that's very enjoyable is that in abstract, people can take out of the painting what is important to them, what it means to them, and that's what starts a yeah. conversation. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's what gives it meaning is yeah. the conversations that arise. Yeah, like, you, like of, you're, you, you've done your work, and I don't think it's really up to the artist to explain to the observer what it's about. The, yeah. the observer should be able to just look at it and, and just take, yeah. take from it. On his own, from his own, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. From his own person. Yeah, when I just, I did my show at Cafe <clears throat> Avenue G, I had a couple of people come up and say, well, what is, uh, what is this supposed to be? And I said, well, what do you get out of it? Mm -hmm. I said, because yeah. I probably get out of it yeah. something else. Yeah. But what you get out of it. Is what counts because you're the exactly. one who's, who's, and the thing is if, if it grabs their attention and they're actually looking at it, it grabs their attention for, you know, even a minute or two, then you've done your job basically, right? That's it. Like, you know, one of my dream jobs was to work in a museum. I always thought, wouldn't it be great yeah. to work in a museum or a library? Yeah. And I ended up, you know, being a CEO of a library mm -hmm. and now I'm an artist. <laughs> so yes. it's like, it came later in life. Yeah. But I, I'm actually happy it came later in life because- a, Because you're ready for it, I think. I think, yeah. I think everything leads to something. And, and at some point, uh, yeah. then you okay. Now I'm ready. Even though you you perhaps struggled, you were learning, and it were, there are building blocks to that, you know, to that opportunity. Well, yeah. And the nicest thing about aging, in my mind, is uh, this has happened in the last ten years. And I think, well, this if this has happened in the last ten years, I've got a lot to look forward to, even as I get older. Yes. And I'm comfortable with aging because. After, yeah. I mean, you either become wise or you don't, mm -hmm. but it's all about maturity and being able to laugh at things you never would have laughed yeah. about before. And you have to feel good in your own skin. Yeah. I think that's really important. 
yeah, yeah. and relate to everybody and that's yeah. how art helps as well yeah. like i've got a lot of um actually i met my neighbor yesterday he's been there for eight years we <laughs> met him yesterday because he was such a lovely man mm -hmm. he helped us up with all i had to bring all my art up because mm -hmm. i just finished my exposition okay. and uh and he was so lovely. Turns out he took fine arts at Concordia. So no, and, small and, world. And he's he's young, you know, he's young. But I find it. I find my art helps me to. I, I like everybody. I'm lucky. My dad was actually a bartender. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and everybody <laughs> adored my father because, and my brother is like that too. Everybody knows here them. in Montreal. Uh, no, actually in the townships. Okay. Then I mean I, I grew up with that, so mm -hmm. I'm really lucky mm -hmm. that I have a facility with people in general. But I especially like talking to younger people now, like in their 30s, because that's when I find I, I had all of my like, what am I going to do with my life? You know, I mean, it's, I should have been thinking of that when I was yeah. 20. But I didn't no, but it's, I was you know 30. what? It's so true. I find that the, that uh, there is there are a lot of young people who are so talented. Yeah. And they're in they're in their groove. There mm -hmm. seems to be a zeitgeist going on right now yeah. in Montreal. I can't speak for other places, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's it's inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy I enjoy young people very much. I think. Uh, yeah. I think they have a lot going for them and they have a lot of challenges, especially in today's world. They you know? do have a lot of challenges. I'm not saying social media is bad because I think it's a connector mm -hmm. and I think you just have to use your good judgment on how to use it. That's the responsibility everybody should partake in if they're using social media. But it's gotten so out of hand for young people. Yeah. And that's it's people a... are lonelier today than they've ever been. That's that. That's, yeah. Those are the statistics. That's what we're finding. Yeah unfortunately yeah and uh it's kind of sad there's a big gap there yeah. is a big gap yeah that's why i think it's important for people to you know take care of themselves yeah grow mm -hmm. and you know expand their horizons because it's one way of meeting other people you know the same you know if you there's that saying uh, that goes if you like uh, people that are like each other like each other so you know you find your you find your tribe, right? Yeah, that's right. So you need to develop yourself so that you can find your tribe and then feel that you know you have a sense of community. Yeah, but the child needs that attention, and yeah. they have done some studies. Daily, if if the child gets the attention that he, she, or they need, mm -hmm. um, they have a better chance because they're because it's an act of love when you're reading your children, yeah. right? It's an act of love. Yeah. They, so if they, they, they could deal with challenges much, much more yeah. effectively. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And when it's an act of love that you're particip participating in with the people that you trust the most in the world, mm -hmm. it's going to inspire confidence. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I, I look at my nieces and my grandnieces and nephews even, mm -hmm. they're just, they've been surrounded with so much love because my families are very look Irish so and French. Important. They're yeah. a very loving family. Yeah. So, very um, important. you know, my 17 year old niece is going to be going off to Ottawa U and she's only 17 mm. and she's, she's grown up with a lot of, mm. you know, a lot of love mm. and no, you can do it. Kind yeah. of thing. Kids need that. They need the support. They do yeah. more than ever, yeah. more than ever. And that, that more than ever. Yes. Because there are a lot who don't have it. I know. And this is a, this is a, um, sad well it's very sad i mean you can do so much with your life if you're actually happy well i think a big part is to find something you know when you're young some you know some some kids are really uh, fortunate they know excuse me what they want to do and they and that's what they do yeah. other kids you know they kind of like zigzag they're not really sure and what have you so they need to be exposed uh, to as much as possible so that they can say, okay, well, actually, I do like this, mm -hmm. or at least one aspect of it. How did you get into art? Um, it's a good question. Because you're a businessman, right? Like, Well, yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I, I, I just picked it up. I think maybe because of my mother. My mother painted. Oh. Okay. And when she was younger, she also performed, and and so maybe that had something to do with it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so it was maybe a way of being close to her, where oh, how it yeah. started, yeah. and and, uh, and then it just kind of went from there. And That's of course, sweet. ups and downs yeah. and what have you. Yeah. 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 
Well, that's it. Eh? Painting is a cure to me for ups and downs, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's and like you said, you know, you were painting this this piece of artwork here. Yeah. You felt you felt relieved afterwards. Oh, I did. And I had an energy that that builds up in you, right? It's like yeah. you've got to release it, and it's like, okay, I feel I feel better now. Yeah, and it's only when it's only after I painted that I thought, oh my god, like because I haven't been painting a lot just because life has been happening and it's sort of taken me away from my regular art schedule. Mm -hmm. So after that, I just I went. I said to my husband, I said, "Come see this." I said, "I really like it. What do you think?" And he's he's deadly honest. <laughs> you know? Oh, which is oh good. yeah, it is good. Okay, uh, he's, he's a good <laughs> critic. Like, yeah. He is a good critic. Although everybody's already always told me, don't listen to your partner. <laughs> you <have> to, <laughs> but he is. He's a very good critic. Mm. But he liked it. And I thought, and it, it wasn't, you know what I've also discovered, what mm -hmm. art has helped me discover, which I think is really important, probably for many artists, they probably discover the same thing, is that I used to care about what everybody thought uh, like especially the world that I grew up in having to wear my little business suits and stuff mm -hmm. and how meticulous you had to to be to get ready and all this stuff <laughs> so I mean I really used to care about what people thought but when I do my art I care if I like it yeah even if another person doesn't like it that's okay yeah. and you know what it's the first time in my life mm -hmm. it doesn't bother me if people say well it's not my favorite mm -hmm. it doesn't bother me no it shouldn't but what's important to me is that I like it. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's very important that you like it. And that's what counts. No, know? and it's it's good to get something like that in your life and that it's, you just it's don't nice, care. It's nice. Do you, I mean, do you like this painting? I love it. Yeah, I like it too. So, yeah. you know, there's the bonus, right? You yeah. like it. Somebody else likes it. Yeah. So, that, so that's great. But you're right. It's... And it promotes discussion. Remember when Alberta was burning? Oh, yes. I have, I have family out there. Yeah. I did this one when Alberta was burning. Oh, wow. I know. This is my favorite painting I think I've ever done. The, well, those I like too, but this one felt... Yeah, that's really good. You know, good. my sister lives in Calgary now and my niece. And I love the fact that you yeah. have water running through yeah. too because it's it's the whole forest scene and, you know, the water still runs, yeah. but yeah. But it was... At that, And that's what it looked like too. It was... Mm -hmm. I mean, they were seeing orange. It's sort of what's going on. It was surreal. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this over It was over surreal. Here. I mean, people were driving through fire. No, they were. It was terrible. And so, tell me, when uh, when is your next project? Do you have another project lined up? Uh, I have one that I can't really talk about, okay. but it's with a not for profit. Okay. And um, I'm looking forward to it, and I, I'll advertise it when it happens. Well, when the time comes, let me yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. And of course, I'll do the art hop in May. Yes. Along with you yeah. and our... yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, so I always the, enjoy that. Yeah, the art hop is fun. And then um, I'm with the women's studio group, mm -hmm. women's art group, mm -hmm. studio group, and we do a vernissage once a year at uh, Galerie Gallery Erga. Okay, good. So I'll probably be in that as well. And there's a few people that'll call me about certain things, but I have to tell you, I. I want time to paint. I've had no time. Like yeah. I'm, I'm on so many boards and I'm doing, you know, That's and I love helping. I'm, like I'm a great consultant. I love helping people, but I really have come to the conclusion that I just, I want to spend most of my time this year painting. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Good. That's what makes me happy. Well, you do that. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and you too. <laughs> I will. Yes. I yeah. actually, actually, I have not done anything for a good, I would say at least a month. Well, me too. I hadn't. And I'll tell you, it's like night and day when you yeah. do. It's, yeah. You know, you just feel, oh my God, okay. So what I would like to do, if mm -hmm. you're if you're up to it, is sure. to meet down the road, maybe in six months or sure, you know, I love what, whatever. That. And we could, we could uh, you know, take it from there and see what's been going on. Yes, absolutely. Yes? Well, Helen, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Always. <laughs> and we, we shall meet again. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. This was wonderful. Thank you. This port was actually really, really delicious. I know. <laughs> I should I should stick around and finish it off. <laughs> well, finish it off. It's okay. Yeah. Stick around.